In my opinion, Gears of War 6 needs to return to its roots. The game should bring back what made the original trilogy so incredible. The atmosphere, the locust, and the world feels ripped right out of a horror story and they inserted R-rated, brutal G.I. Joes. Because let's face it, what we got in Gears 4 and 5 just did not deliver. So you may be wondering why I'm even talking about Gears of War 6. And that is because the rumor mirror surrounding this franchise has started up once again. And apparently we may be getting a look at the newest entry in the franchise sooner rather than later. Well, 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 real quick, I will say I've I've heard oh, some stuff might be happening with Gear Six this summer. So I I, th I think I think that that the tease sounds about right to me, Paris. That seems yeah. like what we can expect. So, yeah, that, and that's the first time I've said that anywhere. So you guys get a little scoop. Oh, there, a little know. scoop from Jeff Grubb. Get a little, little scoop, just a tiny one. Uh now, not only did we get this information from Jeff Grubb, but Tom Warren retweeted the clip and confirmed the information that was given. In fact, check out what Nate the Hate had to say on everyone's favorite website, Reset Era. This gen, very few games have delivered that next gen moment, as we had an exponentially long cross-gen period. Much like Gears 1 was the moment on the 360, so should Gears 6 be for the series X and S. And from there, the rumors started to snowball. And just like the locusts crawled out of their holes during E-Day, so have the gaming journalists with the latest leak in the gaming space. By the way, I think it is extremely funny how so-called journalism has basically turned into a career where all you do is make headlines from forum posts and repost clips from gaming podcasts. But anyway, let's move on and discuss what I hope we actually get in Gear 6. Because let's face it, no matter if these current leaks and rumors are true or not, we all know the Coalition is working on the next Gears of War title. So, like I said at the start of the video, Gears 6 needs to return to what made the franchise so great in the first place. Pretty much everything in Gears 4 and 5 was a step backwards. The story, characters, and atmosphere all felt so lackluster. And for the love of God, please do not let the rumors of the game being open world be true. Not every game needs to be an open world experience. Do we really want a Gears title with the same boring snooze fest energy that plagues so many open world games? Could you imagine actually getting a side quest where we have to help Marcus with his tomato farm? Mess up my fucking tomato! Instead of trying to reinvent the wheel, just go back to the basics. The original Gears of War nailed the atmosphere perfectly. When General Ram makes his first appearance, it was chill inducing. He literally points out his prey. The entire scene was just amazing and really did help set the vibe of the game. Yes, the COG soldiers may act like total dude alpha male bros, but in this scene, Ram steals their thunder and shows them that there's something much more menacing and stronger than they are. When he stabs Kim and stares him in the eyes watching the life drain from his body. And I don't know about anyone else, but that scene actually reminded me of the movie Predator. As a kid, Arnold was always the strongest force in pretty much any movie I've ever seen him in. Until Predator. When he steps out on the screen and completely dominates Arnold. Hell, even the dark felt like something you had to be afraid of in the first game. Due to the krill, if you stepped into the shadows, you would literally be eaten alive. All of that atmosphere is simply not apparent in Gears 4 and 5. And it's not just the atmosphere. Even the characters just don't have it. How do we go from Delta Team to this new cast? In Gears 4, JD just felt like a knockoff Nathan Drake. Like I know the cocky witty hero was popular at the time, but it's like does Gears of War really need to be a title that copies the current trend? I mean, could you imagine Marcus and Dom playing rock, paper, scissors? 
I've rock, paper, scissors you for it. Seriously? You're terrible at rock, paper, scissors. Uh, how can someone be terrible at rock, paper, scissors? Easily, because you always pick paper. Do I? Let's do it. Damn it. And don't even get me started on Kate and Gears 5. All of the new characters just feel like they don't belong in this franchise. I simply could care less about any of them. You know the characters suck when during the dreaded decision at the end of Gears 5, I pit JD. Not because I liked him more, but simply due to the fact that I like Marcus. I did not want to see him lose his son. Thanks for the save. Hey, where's James? You know, it's sad because Gears 3 has such a bitter sweet ending. Phoenix finally won the war and put a stop to the Locust. However, along the way, he lost basically everything. His best friend, a friend so close he considered him to be his brother. He lost his father as Adam Phoenix died right in front of his eyes. I'm not going to make it. It's okay. I'll carry you. Marcus, the emulsion developed faster in me because I forced it to. I had to find out how it reproduced. What are you talking about? Oh, shit. No. You are not going to die. It's too late, Marcus. Every cell in my body's breaking down. And this is going to happen to every contaminated cell on Seraph. It has to. No, goddammit, I can't lose you again. I'm glad I was able to see you again, Marcus. Now go and live for me. God! After all the fighting was done, Marcus just looked like a broken man who questioned what was even left. Whatever it takes, I'm here. What's left, Anya? What have we got left now? Tomorrow, Marcus. We finally got it tomorrow. Yep, all he got was finally having a tomorrow. But to be completely honest, if he knew that tomorrow would bring the story we got in Gears 4 and 5, I'm not even sure if he would have wanted it. But I would love to hear what you all think. Do you guys hope Gear 6 takes this series back to its roots? Or do you hope it goes all out with the open world rumor and takes the franchise in a new direction? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. By the way, if you made it this far and did enjoy the video, let me know by dropping a like. And if you are new, please consider subscribing. As for me, I got a ton of work to do, so I'm going to get back to the grind and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.